Joining us uh, over the phone to shed more light on uh, the President's African tour and his participation in the COMESA summit and also um, handing the uh, rotating presidency of the COMESA to the Zambian President. Uh, we are very much delighted to have with us via phone Her Excellency Ambassador uh, Saad Chalabi, former Assistant Foreign Minister and former um, Ambassador of Egypt in Mozambique. Thank you very much for being with us, Ambassador Chalabi. Thank you for inviting me. And um, before going into details, since I knew that you were our ambassador in Mozambique, tell me more about how um, Mozambique as a people and of course and officials look at Egypt because it's really amazing to find that we do have this great position in Africa and we regained our position more and more during the past few years under uh, the presidency of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi under uh, whether as the president of uh, Egypt or the president of the African Union back in 2019. Um, I was ambassador of Egypt to Maputo uh, in between 1996 and 2000 and I wanted so much the president of Egypt to visit Mozambique because Mozambique is a very friendly country and Egypt has supported the, na the national struggle during um, the 60s and the 70s, early 70s, until the until uh, Mozambique became uh, independent, and um, uh, after that, Egypt helped Mozambique uh, with uh, a lot of uh, technical assistance, and uh, a lot uh, many many Mozambicans came to Egypt for um, the uh, the courses that are offered in the military and in the police academy. Uh, so there was uh, um, a cooperation between 19, uh, 1990 and uh, until now there have been a lot of cooperation. Uh, now we are uh, trying to in, uh, attract the investors, Egyptian investors and Mozambican investors to come to Egypt and to uh, boost the trade and boost the uh, economic ties. There is, there is going to be um, uh, a joint committee that will discuss uh, and we will sign memorandum of understanding in order to uh, boost the uh, trade size and um, uh, transportation and also to increase uh, the investment, to, uh, to attract more investment in the field of maritime, in the field of um, development, uh, infrastructure. Um, you exactly. name it when it comes to economy and investment. Ambassador exactly. Shalabi, you uh, were wearing another hat in COMESA and I was just reading some of your comments regarding the Egyptian active role in COMESA, whether by hosting the COMESA um, committee, sessions, summits, you name it, or as uh, a member of COMESA. Um, if you please elaborate on that. Yes, I was a member of the... Um uh, of the elders, uh, and we were trying to uh, uh, provide the security and um, uh, and and peaceful uh, peace and stability in Africa. And we uh, uh, during uh, my time as a uh, member of the committee of the elders in, of Comesa, uh, we put the priority of um, stability and security, and we used to. Uh, visits um, all the African countries um, who are members of COMESA in order to uh, establish uh, ties and establish uh, good governance and, uh, of course, um, fair and uh, and uh, and and uh, fair elections uh, for um, presidents uh, and for uh, high com high commissioners. Usually, the um, the, the, the conflict in, in Africa starts by um, the, uh, the roots of conflict used to be um, very uh, deep um, between uh, the different factions. But uh, being a member of COMESA, the Egypt is, has uh, played a big role in the, in the field of peace and security. Mm -hmm. Especially in the Committee of Elders, uh, there is now the um, Ambassador Ashraf is also uh, the, playing a big role in uh, in this uh, regard. So um, uh, the, the the Egyptian role in Comesa is very it was very good in the in the past two years because it has um, 
um, it has put the it has um, focused on the industrial uh, integration strategy, which uh, Egypt uh, has placed between 2017 and 2026, and it has also um, 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 focused on the comparative comparative advantage in trade and manufacturing goods. And there are all the time um, meetings among all levels. I mean, the ministerial level, the businessmen level, the private sectors <laughs> level, the of course leadership level. And we are building on what we have achieved. I mean, there is a kind of comprehensive look to the whole issue. Exactly, uh, because uh, Egypt has, uh, for instance, uh, has uh, supported the feasibility study to link Lake Victoria and the Mediterranean through the Nile River. It has facilitated the movement of trade and people. Uh, it improved the business environment during the past two years and the digital transformation. And of course, uh, now, because we are dealing with the green um, budget and the green financial sector, um, the, the, um, to, to um, encourage the, the projects that are going to face the climate change in Africa. And this yes. is uh, uh, an outcome of COP27 when Egypt um, which was even called the uh, African uh, African COP27, taking into consideration mm -hmm. that um, Africa is the least country contributing to uh, the disastrous climate Damage. change, but exactly. we are affected more than any other uh, continent exactly. in the world. Yes, exactly. that is why it just supported uh, the financial support to uh, loss and damage. Also, to, to I mean. Uh, exactly. It's so. our pivotal role <laughs> and it's our destiny to be to be the old sis. Well, uh, Ambassador uh, Saad Chalabi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, our former Ambassador in Mobutu, Mozambique, uh, and one of the Elders member of Comesa before. Thank you very much for your input.